my creative friends, Jessica Sanders here of ColorMeCreativeArt.com. Today I have a little surprise. I'm so excited. So let's get started. A big trend we see now a lot are handmade watercolors. And so I ordered some handmade watercolors and I want to share that with you today. We're going to unbox, we're gonna test it out, and we're going to swatch it out. So let's, let's get started. I received these from Designs by Rachel Beth. And look at this cute. I didn't even know they made these little envelopes in pink. <laughs> Isn't that super cute? Uh, cute envelope. It came fairly quickly. And I will, I've already, you know, taken a peek. See, it's open. But I have not taken much of a peek. Just a little tiny peek. So it came in this little cute plastic with the sticker handmade for you and a little card from Designs by Rachel Beth. And it shows how you can sign up for her newsletter there. So there's her little tag, nice and watercolory. And I cut this bag already so that I can open it. So cute. And look at this adorable little tin. Isn't that sweet? It has Eat Sweet Cupcakes on the front because this is the Cupcakes and Cocktails palette. And I saw this on Instagram at Designs by Rachel Beth, and it was so pretty, such a pretty palette. And right up my alley, I guess. And maybe the idea of Cupcakes and Cocktails appealed to me a little bit, maybe. And I just really wanted to, to get it. I've been wanting to try out some handmade watercolors anyway, so this was the perfect timing. So I'm going to unwrap these, I'll speed through that, and then I'll be back and we'll swatch them out. So beautifully wrapped. I'm saving that one for last. I think, you know, I love blues. That's probably going to be my favorite. So I save it. So let's start with vanilla coconut. What adorable little pan. And look, it's magnetic. How perfect is that? Okay, so I just wanted to share with you, I did have a little bit of a malfunction in that my tie was wrapped in the Manhattan paper and the Manhattan was wrapped in the Mai Tai paper. Not a big deal. These are handmade watercolors and it was just the outside label that was wrong. If you notice, something really cool is she is actually labeled each pen. Each pen. She has actually labeled each tin, so Blue Lagoon has its name on it, and that made it very simple for me to figure out, oh, I do have Manhattan and Mai Tai, but they were just, the wrapping was um, opposite, which is no problem, like I said. So Manhattan and Blue Lagoon, and I don't know what order. I'm trying to put these in order. It's triple salted caramel. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this. It's nice. They're magnetic on the back. That's such a nice thing. That's so helpful. I think actually I'll turn these sort of like little, our little paper is. There we go. Okay, nice. Now let's do some swatching. I'm so excited. You wet my brush using a small brush. Now this is a vanilla bean coconut is a white. So I don't know how well it's actually going to show up on camera. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. And hopefully that will show up really well. Oh, I have an idea. I will make a little line. Then we'll be able to determine not only how it shows up, but how opaque it is as far as a white goes. Here we go. Oh, look at that. It's nice. It is shimmery, metallic -y, I think. It's hard to tell. We'll see when it dries. We'll see when it dries. 
Next is triple salted caramel, which is a, a little peachy color here. Oh, this would be a great skin tone also. Look at that, nice. And then Mai Tai, which is very metallic. I see a lot of metallic here. I wanna make sure that I'm getting the color. So these are super easy to wet. Even this metallic, look at that, that would be a nice lipstick. <laughs> I'm just thinking of portraits, I guess, right now. That's my tie. Nice metallic. It's got a gold metallic mixed in. Really pretty. Really pretty. It would also make a nice rose or, I don't know. I just love watercolor. You can do anything with it. Anything. They are wetting really nicely. They do seem to be fairly opaque, which is fine. I am not, I'm using a lot of pigment and not a lot of water, so you expect it to be more opaque that way. That is Manhattan. And then we have Blue Lagoon. Oh, look at that, isn't that pretty? It's a lovely aqua teal color. Okay, that is awesome. <laughs> that didn't take very long either, did it? Look at that. Now they're not dry yet, but look how pretty. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Really pretty. There we go, okay. I'm gonna zoom back out. There we go. Set this up here. Now I can see what I have. And of, and of course, I'm going to take out my aqua journal and play with them a little bit. Thank you so much, Rachel Beth, for creating these colors and this palette. So fun, and they're really beautiful. And I'm super excited to use them. I get, I'm going to get a little bigger paintbrush now so I can really play. Just wanted the small paintbrush so I could just Let's see what happens. Hmm, what shall we paint? Let's just test some color mixing. How about we do that? Let's start with the triple salted caramel. Just gonna test some color mixing and let's see how it mixes with our man, Mai Tai. Mai Tai. Moves nicely, look at that. Let's just invite that color to flow and see what happens. I'm also still doing direct color. Let me get a palette. Now I could take this out and use the lid of the tin if say I were traveling or something. Make some room here for the palette. This is stained, but it's still, it still counts guys. Okay, so this has been drying a little bit while I went to find the palette. Let's add some water here. Make a puddle. Make another puddle, puddle right there. This seems to granulate metallic, it's not surprising. And then let's make another puddle right there. I actually feel like this would be a nice skin, skin tone palette. Of course, she calls it cupcakes and lattes, so, you know, we could have a latte together. Okay, get some of this blue lagoon. Oh, it'd be great for a beach palette, right? I feel like this blue lagoon might have some white in it, but I'm not sure. Look how pretty and soft. Really pretty. Let's see what happens when we mix our 
triple salted caramel with the blue lagoon. You can see I like for mine to mix on the page, right? Sometimes I mix them ahead of time if I'm looking for a specific color, but pretty much let them mix on the page and see what happens. So it sort of makes, looks like a, do some more, drop some more color in there. Guess I do paint this fast sometimes, especially when I'm just playing like this. Drop in some more. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's see how this mixes with <laughs> what could be my favorite color in the palette is my tie. Maybe my second favorite because I do really love the Blue Lagoon. I, I love the whole palette, but which is why I bought it. Like I was super excited for this palette. I've been watching for a while to find one that I really, really wanted and thought I would enjoy. So you get sort of a purpley color, but this is very granulating. See lots of granulation here in all of the colors. And then let's see how, got a lot of water in there. My Manhattan mixes with our Blue Lagoon. So these are opposites on the color wheel, right? Blue and orange are opposites on the color wheel. So you're going to get, you know, a grayer, more muted tone, which is perfectly fine. That's what you would expect um, to mix this orange toned color with the blue. And then what happens, let's see, I already did these two. What happens if we mix the Manhattan and the Mai Tai and the triple salted? Okay, sorry, I'm getting my colors mixed up. Let's mix the triple caramel with Manhattan. So here's Manhattan. Well, this is also a nice skin tone. Of course, these are also beachy. And triple caramel. Drop that in there beside it. It's just going to warm that up a bit, I think. I had really a lot of pigment there, so let me add water and let that flow out. It flows really nicely. I don't know if you noticed that or not. It should be. So this is, <laughs> picked up the Manhattan and the Mai Tai instead with that nice caramel. Let me pull that out. It's just a big puddle and I don't really want that. So that's a nice page of color mixing with this palette. Hmm. Should we paint a subject? It's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Oh, you know, I didn't even do anything with the vanilla bean coconut. So this is all still wet. So what happens if I drop it in here? And I will also drop it in here. Let's see what happens. For the sake of this video, I will dry this with the heat tool and I'll be right back. Okay, so it's all dry now. And from what I can tell, I mean, look at this. It's so beautiful. I, I just, it's just, uh, I love it. I love it, I love it. From what I can tell though, things that I didn't really notice when I painted the swatch of the triple salted caramel is that it also is metallic and the vanilla bean coconut is a little, has a little bit of sheen to it, a little bit. I think the Blue Lagoon maybe even has a tiny bit of sheen to it too, a little bit of iridescent. So pretty much 
all of these colors seem to have a little bit of sparkle and shimmer in them, which is just, oh my goodness. I love it. Look, look how, I'm trying to see, can you see all of the shimmer on that page? Oh my goodness. They do seem to granulate. All of the colors seem to granulate, probably because they have that metallic in them and that will create that effect. You can get really rich colors. This is all very watery. This is not, this is not. So you can see. And they, they complement each other nicely. I got a nice muted blue gray area there uh, by mixing the opposites, the triple salted caramel and the blue lagoon. No, 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 I'm sorry. This is the men. <laughs> I don't know for sure now. I believe that's the Manhattan and the Blue Lagoon. But I can't swear for sure now. I don't remember. I'll have to rewatch my own video. <laughs> All right. So really beautiful, beautiful colors. And I, I want to paint something. I want to paint something with this. I don't know what I want to paint with it though. What should I paint guys? Um, I, I can only think of a beach right now. Probably because of the cakes and cocktails thing. I mean, you could, I can also think of doing a face. <laughs> I'm still thinking guys. Okay, I'm going to figure out something to paint and then I will paint it for you. Probably do a speed video, a time lapse of that process, but I hope you have enjoyed seeing these cupcakes and cocktails. Handmade watercolors by Designs by Rachel Beth. You can find her on Instagram. Uh, I mean, she doesn't know me. I don't know her. I just saw her uh, paints and I've really been wanting to try some handmade watercolors. It seemed like a, a beautiful, beautiful palette. And so I decided to invest in it. Watercolors are an investment, you know. <laughs> but this little palette, it will last a while. That's that's these these little half pans are full, full, full. So I'm really excited. Okay, so I'm going to try and paint something. And thank you so much for watching. Share with your friends. Give me that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, hit that subscribe button, and you'll know when I post more videos if you also click that bell. All right, thank you so much.
little painting with the Cupcakes and Cocktails palette. It's in my journal, not meant to be some really perfect piece, but I really love it. The, the colors are fabulous and soft, and I'm not sure where I'm going to take it with this palette. I think portraits would be great. Um, obviously, these beach scenes, really beautiful. So thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. <music>